Well, they've painted the inside. And this is why I offered space stuff. It's there, that. Huh? It's a good colour match to the paint that they've put on. Let's start with the big one first. Temporarily put the frame on. Not that leg. I can't put that leg on yet. But I'll temporarily put the frame on, hang the doors, then I can push push the cabinet to make the gaps even all the way around and I can get some fixings in. All the way around. Take the frame off, put the doors back on, take the frame back off. Be one of those sort of days. Then I'll do the little one. Do the big one first, get that out of the way. Do the little one. Right, I've just temporarily fixed the frame on. There's a couple of little blocks here. Just holding this in place. The top, I can get a screw through the middle. The coving's going to cover that. And then this timber had a bit of a bow in it. So I put some super glue and the tape's just holding that for the moment. I've got some activator, but it's down there in the van. I think it is anyway. And I'll be able to turn that off in a little bit. I'm just going to hang the doors on. Alright, doors are on. Gaps uh something like parallel they need tweaking just a little bit but the parallel now what's that telling me it is that's the top of the cupboard needs pushing over you see it's touching there touching there and it's raising up there so the top of the cupboard needs pushing over that'll push those down these ones will raise up so I think I'm going to put a fixing in the bottom, stop that moving, then I can push the top over. Uh, I'll put a packer in there, and a screw down there, just to keep that where it is. And I just put some packers in there, I'm fixing this back. I was going to go behind the hinges, but I can't be asked now, just going to fix it straight through. I'll pull the packers straight like that when I get the screw in. But moment to use these sixes. There's one there, 130 mil. These need a three-point bit, posi three. It'll say on it. All the screws in here, except for the fours, will go with a two posi, a posi two, PZ two. The fours need a PZ1, POSI1. So a POSI2 for all of them. Then you jump up to a POSI3 for that. And a stumpier. Stumpier than a Phillips. And if you look at the head, it's got like an eight point star. It's got your regular sort of POSI4, but then it's got some more in between. And the shallower. Phillips are quite pointed. That's where you knack your Phillips drivers because they don't go to the bottom. Just before I nip it up, push these back straight. I should be able to swing on that a little bit. I need two hands. Right, I've taken most of the frame off. And this leg. I've used the screws that I did, that I put it together with. Fixed it top and bottom. And then the distance from here is 20 mil, but I'm just using this packer. So that's that distance there. 
and I need to this face of this needs to be flush with the plywood at the back so I need to set me compass to that distance there then I can carefully scribe up there Right, annoyingly I've got about 20 lines on there. I do like this little thing because it doesn't it doesn't move if you just knock it, drop it or anything. But if you're not careful you like I just did, you knock that. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the outside line. And I'll cut it back like that, so it'll be this front edge that's touching the wall. And then if I've got to shave off a little bit, I'm only shaving off like the point. It's easier than trying to plane off the whole width of this. And plans changed a little bit for this. I thought they were going to paint the walls, which meant I could just run some decorators cork down. But they're not, so this has to be either really good, or if I cock it up, I'm going to put a thin bead down, probably end up being the latter. They ain't got a driveway as such, it's been dug up and it's got a skip on it, so my little trestles have come up here. Cut it back, the jigsaw was running on this outside edge so I didn't mark the face, you know it was leaning like that pressing on there. Now I'll just use my planer and gently work up to the line. So I'll do it with the planer on its edge like that. If you do it like that all you can do is go in a straight line. If you put it on the edge like that, on an angle, you can go in and out of the any divots, you know, any shallow bits. Alright, I cut it as close as I can. It's not bad actually, it's the pencil line removing off it. Stuck a screw in there. But what I did was cut it as close as I could to the line, hung the door, and then planed a little bit off it until it fitted right. Now I've got to do this one on this end. Alright, so same again for this end panel. That distance, the same as that distance, I need to go back that far. So I've sent my calipers to that distance, my compass, and I'll scribe down there.
Oh, that's not bad. I can put a bit of cork down there if I decide to. Because this is just white paint, white gloss. All right. Quite a good fit down there. And you know when you should leave things alone? I've lost a little corner there. Got a bit of decorator's cork in there. Now I can get some glue in here, get it sat on, and start getting the front frame on. And because that's such a good fit, I run the plane along just to remove any saw marks. But because that's such a good fit, it means this one's got to be good as well. If I've got to put a bead on that because I cock it up, I've got to put a bead on that one. And probably on there, and probably on there. So, I'll get this one glued in, you can see, you can't really tell that I knocked that corner off. Right, that went in, okay. Lots of glue and some tape just to hold things back. Gap's not too bad, it's parallel. These gaps are good. While the glue dries, I'm going to make a start on that one. I can take the tape off, get the doors back on. Leaning them there is no good. I don't want to leave them overnight like that. These screws that I'm putting these on with an inch and a quarter in, so they're going right through into the carcass. Right, same again for that one. I made the top parallel quite often, you don't really notice the bottom quite so much if it's slightly out. I've got a little packer in there just to pull the top straight, gaps are somewhat like parallel. And I've got to try and make the edge of the plywood there the same distance from the edge of the door. And it's not looking too bad. And I'll get a couple of fixings in like I did over there. Same there. And pack her up there, fixings in. And you've got to make sure that it's not twisted. I cut all these boxes square so they're not bad but I've just put a button on the bottom there I'm going to put one at the top but just make sure that they're not too far out see they're sitting out at the moment but see what it's like when I get the other button on the top you know I've put that button on see they've shot a flush now bottom ones very slightly out but overnight what I'll do is I'll put a packer in the top of there and then lean something against there Right, next day, take this off, try and catch some out. little packer.
that'll do. Now I'm just going to scribe this one in. I've got it just about hard up to the skirt in there and a screw in it. And it's the same distance off this timber behind at the top and the middle. But it's a little bit more than the block that I was using before. So I've squared that over. Now what I want, because this face, same as the other one, wants to be flush with that. Set me scribers to that distance. And I can scribe up there now. And this one over here. There's still a pencil line on it there. But I just spoke to the owners and they're quite happy with that. Very neat, they said. So I'm happy with that. And they said, that although they're not going to decorate, it's going to need decorating soon, so they'll cock it in then. Which takes the pressure off me a little bit for these. But I'll still try and get them as close as I can. I've done the same on this beach, just cut it beyond the line so that I can pl plane it back a little bit. Yeah, I could put a finer blade in, but these blades are nice and stiff, so working from behind the blade isn't wobbling around all over the place. And like I say, on these skirtings, if I've got to put a little bit of cork in and a bit of white gloss, then it's no biggie, it's quicker. I don't do too bad a job. This piece for this end, don't know if you can see it on here, but it's really bent both ways, so it's not making it easy to fit this. But it's in, all the biscuits are in, and it's not a bad fit. It's quite a good one, actually, surprisingly. I don't know how I'm going to hold it back while it glue dries there. Might just have to get some clamps on there. Same for this end panel as the other. Same distance there as there. Just set my calipers to that distance, my compass. Scribed it down. Lost it a little bit here. So telly was getting in my way. So I put little pencil lines just to remind me which line it is. But I went over the top of it and it joins up with the one that I came up with. And down here, interesting. We'll see how that works out. But if I lose that point, don't care, or that point, just be like that one. And same again, I'm going to cut this one by hand because I can make quite a neat line with that. I can cut right to the line and I can just run the block plane along to clean the sawn edge up. And while I've got that off, See, I packed it there, screwed it there. I didn't show you on that one, but same one. There's a packer up there, and then a screw inside. And while I'm cutting this, I'm just constantly blowing on here. Just to remove the dust so that I can see my pencil line. So, blowing, blowing, blowing all the time. So you probably can't see, but there's the pencil line is just on there. Shows up a bit more down here. But same as with the electric plane. Put it at an angle like that, and then you can follow the hollows instead of just planing it flat. Because we don't want to change the shape of this, we've described it. And you want to plane 
sort of downwards almost, not upwards, so it'll break out. So when the pencil lines show in there, I'll take a little bit more off. That's all it needs. See how it fits. Uh, I'm happy with that. It's a good fit, even down there. No adjustment on that one. First time getting better at this. Would work like. Now that one's glued in place because of that dodgy bent timber. I don't want to take those clamps off too soon. So apart from putting wardrobe rails in and skirting, which I can't really do on that yet anyway, and that. Oh, I want to put the doors back in there now. So I might leave that overnight, then I know it's gone off solid. Let's hope it's right.